Super exciting. I uh, just got an email from Google. You may have as well, but they are updating chat and all of those things are starting to come out live. So there'll be seven new features, um, plugins, apps, processes in Google Chat that you can use when communicating with family, friends, coworkers. So we're gonna kind of walk through some of them. And then as they come out in the upcoming weeks, I'll do an individual tutorial on each one of those updates. Some of them are just modifications of things that Google Chat can already do, but let's jump in here. So number one is the ability to uh, have quick response uh, or smart response in Google Chat. So we've seen this in Docs and Gmail. Basically, it's when you start composing a message, AI will finish the rest of that conversation for you. Google Chat will now have Smart Compose built into that, and that should be coming in the next couple of weeks. It's great because it reduces spelling errors, grammatical errors, stuff like that. Uh, you will also have the option to put that into other languages. Um, one thing that we've been missing and we've been wanting so, oh, yes, is the edit and delete your messages. Um, is maybe you're typing something really, really fast and you make a mistake or you have a message that you wanna delete and change it to something later. You now have the option to edit and delete those messages and um, those will be in not only group chat but one-on-one -on -one chats and rooms, everything like that. So this is a cool new feature that has not been available is you can now quote a message in the group chat. So my background, right? I work in a virtual school, so we have 23 people in chats sharing stuff all the time. It's great for the people that are teaching live and they're not in the chat to go up and grab something. And now I can quote that further below so everybody knows what I'm referencing to. Um, this is in addition to kind of the summaries, the chat summaries that they did last year at this time. So that is a great new feature. Number four is read receipts in a Google chat. Sometimes when we send a message, we don't know if everybody has seen that message. And so you can see here in this picture as I blow this up right here, we have this chat message being sent. And then down here, we have the read receipts of the people that saw that message. So if you have a larger group of people or you're working with people in different time zones and they have meetings and different things, it will show everybody that has read that individual message. I'm super excited for that one to come out. And again, we'll do tutorials on each one of these as they come out, what they look like. The other one is link directly to text. So previously, if you wanted to put a link into a document or into a chat message, you just had to grab the link and throw it in. Now what you can do is highlight individual text within a chat and link to that. So you can see this example here is they have art exhibition and they're linked to a Google map and that's probably taking them to a Google map place. So really what it looks like Google is doing or feels like they're doing is making Google chat more uh, adaptable for phone, mobile device, as well as the office space. So a lot of times some of those things were great in the office, but when you got to your phone and tried to use chat, it wasn't as easy to use because some of these things were not available. So uh, the next one, number six, is you can hide inactive conversations. You can see this little GIF right here. If I blow this up, what's happening? Maybe there's a conversation that you had with somebody a couple months ago. You don't really interact with that person anymore. You can actually hide that so it just doesn't fill up your feed uh, of conversations in your chat uh, or in your spaces. Now, with spaces, you can delete those and remove yourself from those if you're no longer part of that group or that space, um, which... I've showed before in previous tutorials. Tutorials Number seven is there are more apps and more features. So they've had Giphy, they've had some other things that you have uh, accessibility to now. It looks like they're opening up um, new apps that you can use, Zapier, um, some of those ones that you may need plans for. Uh, but on the back end, you know, Giphy will still be there. There's some celebration ones, Holly, Hey Polly, uh, some of those options now but they're just going to increase that library of apps for Google Chat. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts. Which one are you most excited about? Which one are you like, why didn't they do this at the very beginning? Uh, which ones are you still asking for? If you're here, it's most likely because you're an educator and what you do for kids on a daily basis matters. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.